Hello YouTube, I'm Jay and uh, this is part 3 of my series on my explanations for lighting for planet tanks and uh, this part will be, I'll be ex explaining about the concept of watts per gallon um, a lot of people, I can already hear them cringing, the planted tank uh, nerds absolutely hate watts per gallon but I'll still discuss it because I think it has uh, some uses so let's move on so watts per gallon is basically a concept that if you have a certain size tank, um, a certain wattage of light bulb will be enough to grow plants. So if you have a small tank, naturally you would need a small light. So like let's say you have a 50 watt uh, light bulb for a small tank and that should be good. But if you have a bigger tank, um, you should have a bigger light. So maybe you want to upgrade to like a 200 watt light bulb. So basically it means if you have like a certain gallon of tanks, you should have a certain watt of light bulbs and uh, that should work out. But uh, this concept has a lot of problems. A lot of problems. Um, the first thing is that different light bulbs, as I've described, have widely different uh, efficiencies. So watts is basically a unit of energy over time. So it's basically about how much uh, electricity is used uh, over a t uh, set time period. And because uh, different light bulbs have such a wide variety of efficiency, a 100 watt incandescent bulb will be much much dimmer than a 100 watt LED bulb because this just produces way more energy per uh, way more light per um, electricity so watts because it's a measure of how much uh, electricity the light bulb uses depending on its efficiency the actual amount of light produced will be widely different so that's the first problem and the second problem with uh, watts per gallon is that light intensity decreases um, uh, exponentially over distance. So as distance gets longer, the, the intensity of light just goes down and down and down. And uh, this is a problem if you have uh, a tank that is of a different shape. So let's say this is a 10 gallon tank and this is a 10 gallon tank, but this, is, uh, this tank has a wider setup. So if your tank size uh, is the same, uh, according to watts per gallon, because these are both 10 gallon tanks, you should have like a certain wattage of lamp, but that doesn't work because this 10, 10 gallon tank is taller. So the distance of the light to the bottom of the substrate where the, where the plants are, um, the light will be much dimmer. Whereas in this one, because it's shallow, um, the light has to travel a much shorter distance. So um, the actual light intensity at the bottom of the tank would be much brighter. And this can be like four to six to eight times more different depending on how you set it up. So there's a huge difference in light intensity uh, depending on how uh, your tank is shaped. So that is a second problem with watts per gallon. It depends on the shape of the tank. And uh, the third problem is um, how you configure the light could be also uh, affected due to the same reason. So if you have a same exact same 10 gallon tank and in this uh, setup you set the light bulb like right uh, above the tank and if you set it up sign the set of kind of suspended a couple uh, inches above the tank there is a significant uh, difference in distance here. So in terms of the light intensity at the bottom of the tank where the plants are growing um, there will be a huge difference here. So this also matters. Um, the third problem uh, the fourth problem is um, uh, the f also the configuration of the light bulb itself can affect um, how the light intensity is. So for a conventionally shaped light bulb, because light is going out in all directions, um, some of the light is not going to go towards the tank. Some of the light is go is going to go backwards. And having some sort of a uh, configuration where you have reflectors can uh, salvage much of, much of the light. And this can be four times as brighter if you have a really, really good ref reflector. And the shape of the light bulb is also going to affect this. Like if you have some light bulbs are shaped like a spot lamp, so uh, they naturally don't have that much light that's going backwards, so they will be less affected. And LED uh, uh, chips, they tend to have a much straighter path of light. Like they don't have much light that goes um, outwards. They don't really have that. Most of light goes straight though, so they will be uh, less affected by it. So uh, then we get to uh, the second concept here, which is a slight improvement upon the watts per gallon, and that is lumens per liter or lumens per gallon. Uh, so lumen is not a unit of like power used. It's a unit of uh, like actual light. How much light is there? So uh, 100 lumen 
uh, incandescent bulb and 100 lumen a compact fluorescent despite the fact that this is going to use way less energy um, it's, in terms of watts this is going to be way less but in terms of the actual amount of light produced they are going to be about the same so that gets rid of the first problem which is uh, different light bulbs having uh, different efficiencies but uh, but it is uh, subject to the same problems as the reflectors and the distance like it is still affected by that but um, I know some people are gonna uh, actually try uh, murder me if I say this lumens per liter I think there actually is some use to it um, if you're a hobbyist I mean you don't need the exact amount of light you don't want to know the exact amount the exact optimum amount you just want to buy a light bulb and know if this will work and you just need an easy way to know that and um, as long as you're being within a reasonable limit, a lumens per liter can, you can estimate um, whether this light bulb will be sufficient or absolutely not. So um, the theory is that uh, as long as you have about 30 lumens per liter, that should suffice. That's about 130 lumens per gallon. So if you have a 100 liter tank, that's about 25 gallons. A light bulb that is rated for 300 lumens um, should more or less be enough. But again, there are those limitations that I've discussed previously where the shape of the tank and the configuration of the light bulb matters. But um, because, you know, we're just hobbyists and we're just trying to figure out whether this light bulb will grow plants, we don't, we're not trying to figure out if um, this light bulb will be optimal for the tank. It will be the best for the tank. Um, if you're just that guy and you just want to get a good estimation of whether a light bulb will grow plants, I think there is some use to it, despite the limitations. Um, lumens per gallon actually has some additional limitations. Um, that is the limitation of the unit of lumen itself. Lumen is basically um, graded, uh, is modified uh, to uh, the human eye. So the human eye, this is the uh, spectrum that the human eye in terms of sensitivity in the green and the yellow spectrum, human eyes are more sensitive. The red and blues, humans are not so sensitive. So if uh, a red light, you have a red light and a green light at the exact same brightness, um, humans will think the green light is brighter because our eyes are more sensitive to it. But plants, of course, are not, they don't care. Like, um, they have a different spectrum. So plants actually um, use quite a bit of the red and the blue. So if you have a light that has a different spectrum, um, the lumens will not represent how... Um, good it is in terms of growing plants. It will just represent how bright it looks to the human eye. Uh, so let's say you have a light that has uh, just uh, red and blue and you would have a spectrum that looks like this and it will be pretty low in terms of the lumens because lumens um, uh, puts a higher weight on this uh, green and the yellow spectrum here. Um, if you have like a green and yellow light um, the lumens uh, spectrum will look something like this and in terms of lumens it will be very bright but um, it will be missing a lot of the red and the blue. So if you have a light bulb, this is a 100 lumen light bulb, and uh, uh, according to lumens per gallon, uh, you should uh, expect this to grow better. The plant should grow better, but maybe it'll be on par, or maybe this would even be better. You couldn't know because um, the spectrum for the human eye is different from the spectrum for growing plants. So the conclusion is uh, watts per gallon is a very rough estimation of the truth. The truth is, will this uh, light be sufficient to grow plants? Um, to get to that truth, watts per gallon is a very rough estimation you can do, but it's it's too bad to actually apply. Lumens per liter, it's slightly better, but still has tons of limitations. I can I think it can be used for some individuals if you just want to get a rough estimate of whether this light bulb will work or not. Um, you can you can use it but you have to understand its limitations. The next part, I'll be discussing PAR, or photosynthetic, photosynthetically active radiation. Um, it is considered the standard in terms of planted tanks, um, uh, and it is a much better estimation of uh, how much uh, light is actually being used for the plants. Uh, but it also has its limitations, so I'll be discussing that in the next part. Uh, thanks for watching, guys.